<coughs> so hello guys, finally back, yay, well probably not for you but, um, okay so for the first video which I'm going to do coming back now is, I finally got paid for work and I'm going to do an unparceling video, I really, really want to call it unboxing, it's not really unboxing, it's more of a uh, I'm parceling, in other words, so this is what came Saturday, there's nothing really exciting around here, it's just all uh, paints and supplies I need because I've got probably 10-15 projects which are waiting on this, which I basically near enough can finish, I just need this, so first thing at the box, I have opened it to make sure everything's in here, is Model Mates Dark Primer. Um, I basically use this on all my terrain and my board, which I'm creating so far. And I've been trying to get hold of this now about three, four months. That's how long it's been out of stock because they only get about 10 tins of this every time you restock. And the guy said that this is really, really popular stuff at the moment because there's a lot of Flames of War and all this Infinity stuff, and a lot of people have been using this for the terrain and the models. It's it's a, it's a really good primer for terrain, but I personally wouldn't use some of the models because it does go on quite thick if you want a full coverage. But nonetheless, it's a bit cheaper than using army painter, and it's a nice color. It is a really, really nice color to have as well. So I'll be able to finish off more terrain projects, and I will be able to show you them when they're finished. So that's the Model Mates Dark Grey Primer. Um, another primer, but this time it's the Army Painter Matte Black. I, I use this on pretty much every model, so I mainly base coat black. And I'm running a bit low, and there's a couple of things I can do with this, and I like to keep a good like this. It really wasn't an urgent buy, but I do like to keep black here just in case I need it. And as I always go to start something new, the tin I've already have but usually tends to run out. Um, Army paint primers I'd say they're way better than the ones you can get from GW to be honest because I find with these that you you seem to get more out of the tin than the GW ones. I think they like so I don't think the GW ones are 400 mil. They hardly do anything compared to this. I mean this is probably done about one tin of this is probably done all together 10 tanks and 40 infantry, 400 mil, and that's a pure coverage. And it goes on thinner, so it doesn't clog with the detail. I always start using Army Painter now because I find the primers are really good. So, if you ever want to use primers, I highly suggest these as they are really good. And for the price, it's eight and a half pounds, GW's is 10 pounds, and if you get from Firestorm Games, it is 765. As you can see there, probably can I don't have a screen camera on this on my new phone, so I'm guessing. So seven pounds sixty-five or seven and a half quid. That's great for that tin. Um, next is the army paint uh in grey. I'm gonna be trying to use this colour now on some of the ruined buildings you got. A lot of people say that this is very much like the space wolf colour grey, and I can see it, but it's worth a shot. Now the colours, if I'm correct, the colour primers, it does vary on price. Yeah, that, the colour primers are a pound, maybe a pound more? A pound more? This is a, yeah, that's it. It's, it's like a pound 30, 49 more in price for the colour primers, as I think it's going to do the pigment or anything. I haven't tried this colour out. I've got two other colours up on the rack. And they're just as good as the black primer and any others I have tried. So that's the buff grey. I think I'm getting this in shot. Uh, one more primer, and that is the Army Paint uh, Uniform Grey. This is going to be for my Bastion, because I can't be asked to really sit there and paint the Bastion Grey. But I'm going to give this a go. So it works yet again. That is $8.99. The colours from Firestorm are $8.99. And the primers are eight uh, seven pounds fifteen or seven sixty five, can't be exact. Um, 
What else have I got? Okay. I bought these Formula P3 clippers from Privateer Press because where are they going? My GW clippers are pretty much knackered. I've had them for years. They don't spring out and I think it's quite this up pay paper. I did accidentally start opening these with excitement, but my GW ones, which I've got here. As you can see the <laughs> they're pretty stiff to open and you know they don't shut or anything anymore they just you know they kind of force it and they are pretty stiff and I'm pretty strong on mine and they've gone all rusty as well and the blade's gone on it as well so I bought a new pair of these I hate buying clippers because they're £10 a fucking piece and they used to be £5 a piece now oh these seem like they're going to spring action that's the main plan problem because I can cut things up quicker and without having to force them open like so but they'll eventually wear down like the rest of them. The blade looks pretty good. The blade does meet. It's got a nice flat edge by here as well so you cut more clean. It's, it's got like a oh yeah it's a soft grip handle. It made out of like a thick rubber material or plastic or is it soft plastic? Uh, Printing's alright. It's kind of no, it's not just painted on. I thought that was in like an emboss painting. So that's the project here. Press Formula P3 clippers. Put them in there so you can find them. Um I'll leave that one for last. Um but was not supposed to do that guys. Ah bollocks. Right, let's check this is realigned. Yeah. Whereby we go point with it. We are in fact sorry about that guys. I will not be able to video I'll try and video edit that bit out. If not I do apologize. I did not mean to knock my camera off. Um so I ordered three more GW paints. As much as I hate buying them, I don't. The only ones I really buy now is the washes and the base colours. That's that's it. Anything else now is going to be getting coloured by Vallejo. So, um, this this one is my fist in red. I use that as my primer for every red. It goes on nice. Everyone says use corn red if you want to make it brighter, which I do. But I know where I stand with this colour. I don't know what I can do with it, and I know it's a base colour for, for loads of other things, and it's just a colour I use for my, many things as well. So, that's fine. Um, no the oil. I use this like it's pests. I practice, I peep. Somebody said to me, I drink this because I probably buy about, I probably go for about four bottles of this a month. I use it like hell. But it's such a good one. I, uh, but I will be looking at the dark shades, light shades, medium shades from Army Painter, I believe. Not the big tins, the little squirrely bottles to try them out. If, I, if the big tins are any good, I will be buying the big tins and putting them in these bottles. And more fan brown. I use this on my guard like hell. I think I've gone through four bottles of this since July. Because I use it as the base colour for my cloth for my guard and any brown tones. And use it for many other things, and for, as well as base for flesh colours. Sometimes I want that flesh and that's the nine, that's not it now. Um that kind of okay. Um brought two more brushes. I brought another uh hobby base coating from Army Painter. Use this practically for anything because it's a pretty good brush and a tip. It's a long bristle brush for the whole clean paint, but the tip is fine enough for basically doing 90% of models. Like stand 25mm. Use uh, I probably bought about five of them this year. Um, not five. Probably bought about three this year. They're pretty good. The guy, like the guy said, they won't last you months, no paintbrush will last you fucking forever. Um and I bought the army. Painter, Wargamer, Monster Brush. 
So I wanted something a bit bigger than the hmm, brush I use. Regiment. That's my regiment brush that way down the fumes. Can you see the difference? I think that's gonna be a lot better than that brush there. It's fine, it's so much in one end all the so much is discoloured. So mm, that's nothing guys. And something else oh, yes. I absolutely love these grass tough things from army paint as well. Army paint and stuff is, is really good quality. Um, so I buy these Highland Tufts because I want like a dead grass thing on my fantasy of me using these. And we get about the four, the four, the four pound, but from the firestorm, you get the three pound fifty, right? But you get more. You're paying less, but you're still getting more on these than the GW ones. I mean, the GW ones, I find that they're overpriced, and you don't get enough variety. And you, and and if you do, you're always getting these small little dirty ones to make them. You don't get any of these nice thick ones, and I find that. Some of the, oh, my mate's using before and he says they don't they don't really tap to my model tidy. Like these do, they stick really well, but with super glue, they're never gonna come off and really not super glue, uh, PVA glue. And these really don't need it. Plus if and they don't sit flat either, they're quite I know they're supposed to be tough, but like they poke up really well. So they're not gonna need that. <laughs> I mean I'm going to buy more tufts because I'm hoping now on about Christmas time because next month I'm doing my manifold stuff going to get my robot and everything if things go well enough I'm going to get that all sorted and then New Year's is going to be the Stamp of Flames War but I am going to probably to be taking my time I'm going to buy the starter box paint while I play a couple of games I'm probably going to do the North Africa campaign, but what will be really helpful, guys, is if anybody owns loot box or can give me any tips for starting them. I like, like, I want to do like a British artillery sort of army thing. And if there's any models I can use from for, from the German side in North Africa, that'd be great because I think they had, yeah, they did, they had, they had Slug 3 in North Africa, but that was more towards the end. Um, so last thing guys, is I bought another Sentinel. Now, there's not much of a piss they just take in. It's only 2014. Three years ago, this was smack on £15. That's all you're going by three years ago. There is nearly, that's a good, what's that? Take that off. It's nearly a third of the price more than what it was. It's going to be a third of the price more near enough by the end of this year for one of these. Now, I like these. They're cracking good kits. And I've seen some really good conversions to these for the Scout Space Marine Armies where they have them on legs. Like, I do enjoy the kits, but £18, £18 could buy you 10 Space Marines. £18 just to buy you 20 yards. Man. Used to, guys, but that's going back. Not that far, but if anybody's new, you will never ever see those days where you would get a box of 20 cards in one box for tw um, 18 quid. So, this is to finish off, because I need one more sentinel, and I need the cockpit pieces, as I've misplaced half the cockpit pieces, and I can't finish them off. But the really lacking thing is, Firestorm games are completely out of magnets again, which is a bit of a bastard, because I'm, I was going to... Well, I am going to be magnetizing all these, but I can wait till next month because I can paint all the weapons up, I can paint all these up next month, ready up a bit to be finished. And that would be my Sentinel Squadrons done. I'll have one scout, one armored. I don't think I'll need any more to that than that. So, that's that. Um, other than that, guys, I'm trying to get more videos out of the. the only problem we've got now is it is half past eight. I mean, I've only got back from work about an hour ago, so it's going to be very hard. Um, Thursday, I am going to try and do my Codex video. I know I've said that loads of times, but I'm going to do it loads of times before. But 
it's really, really hard trying to time. Really hard trying to time. 